In one of Chennai's worst hit zones, a state cabinet minister in action. K. Pandi Rajan, Minister of Tamil Development, has been given charge of Chennai's Tondayar Pet with 4,000 cases. He shows us a fever clinic, one of the 36 held every day, to screen hundreds of this sprawling, densely populated working class neighborhood. With the mobile testing vans, the, the testing happens right then and there. And within about six, seven hours, we are able to give the result. And even during that period, they get uh, shifted into places like this, okay, so that there's no uh, traceability issue. Those with high temperature, like this driver, are tested for COVID through a van that comes virtually to their doorstep, one of six such vans. Every day, 11,000 workers, like these women from self-help groups and NGOs, go door to door to check and persuade those with COVID-like symptoms to get a checkup. Unless we are coming and doing this camp, they will not come out of there. All volunteers are there, NGO people are there, they are going each and every house. They are going to do home visit. If their symptoms are there, they will note it down and uh, any uh, comorbid illness the patient is having, uh, more than about 60 years or 50 years, they will ask uh, comorbid illness. And if uh, patients are not able to come outside, they will come and we will uh, supply medicines to the home visit itself. The ministers, the vans, the door-to-door -door screening, all part of a new strategy for a government desperately attempting to contain the Chennai surge. This has sparked criticism of too many cooks. First, the state government appointed IAS and IPS officers zone-wise, later made a senior bureaucrat Radha Krishnan as a special nodal officer of Chennai, now six ministers. Regardless, the government is pushing ahead. In a revision of strategy, the Tamil Nadu government has now developed facility quarantine centres like this, where family members of those who test positive are isolated to make sure there is no spread of virus at homes. Thanikachalam's wife has COVID, so has her father. Now he and his mother have been shifted here. Buses bring many more, all isolated after checks for symptoms. Just next to Tandiyar Pet, another hot spot. This is the Rayapuram fishing harbour outside Chennai. This area accounts for more than 5,000 positive cases. These narrow lanes demonstrate the challenge of enforcing lockdowns. It's narrow lanes like this with cramped houses where people largely use public toilets and compromise on social distancing and wearing of masks that pose a major challenge in the city. Sinduja comes from a family of fisher folk. She doesn't wear a mask. Social distancing is largely absent on the streets children and adults. Economic pressures overwhelm safety concerns. This 72-year-old woman lives alone. She lost her daughter some years ago. As Chennai locks down again, the spread of the virus may slow down, but so will livelihoods. It's workers from here who drive the engines of Chennai's industrial belt now shut down again. It's been a three months long unprecedented loss of income and livelihood for lakhs of poor people across Chennai, from industrial workers, daily wages and domestic helps. 
As Chennai prepares for a total lockdown after a brief unlock one phase, there's worry and fear about what's in store in the weeks and months ahead. In Chennai with Suresh, Sam Daniel, Find the TV.